Do you ever have one of those days where you just wanna stay home for the night, have some pizza, get cozy on the couch? Well, Matt and I are gonna make some prosciutto and goat cheese pizza. And then I'm gonna show Matt how to make some really cozy slippers. Matt, I am looking forward to this pizza because I can tell you have some really unique ingredients here. And I can't wait to show you how easy it is to make. Okay. Let's go over some ingredients. We have bread flour, water, sugar, yeast, butter, dry milk powder, and salt. And we're gonna mix that in our bread maker. Okay. Make a beautiful dough. Okay. And proof it all in one. Fantastic, sounds easy. Yep. Then our toppings are gonna be mozzarella cheese, tomato sauce, spinach, prosciutto, goat cheese, spicy honey. Ooh, that sounds great. It's gonna give it a little extra kick. I like some kick. Let's, Let's make some make dough. dough. Yep. <laughs> Perfect, Excellent. okay. We're gonna Pull mix it, it yep. right in our pan here? Right in our pan. That makes it easy. First, we'll always start with the yeast. Okay. Right. And then add your flour. There we go. And then scoop that little bit of butter in there. And then you can add your sugar, your milk powder, and your salt. Do it like oh, this. very it, fancy, look fancy. at this. I thought you would like that. Okay. Yeah. And okay. then the last is the water. Perfect. Now the great thing is you don't have to mix this up or anything. Oh. Just place it back in the... Okay, I love that. Yep. Scroll to number 13. Okay. Press start. And in 45 minutes, yeah. you will have pizza dough ready to make pizza. Like it's already risen? Like it's, it's ready. already, it proofs, it does everything within that the bread maker. Awesome. Yep. But I got a little surprise for you. Yeah? I already have the dough ready. Matt, you're so good like that. Of course you would have something ready. So, okay. Oh, that looks beautiful. Yeah, so you can see how much this much rose. Risen. You take the dough, and it's gonna be a little sticky. It looks perfect. You know, sometimes when I make dough at home, it's like, not enough flour, too much water. This looks beautiful. And that's what the kneading dough does really well. It evenly mixes everything. And then we're gonna press it down. Perfect. So here we go, a nice little pizza dough here. Okay. I All like right. the size, it's like a little personal pizza. Exactly, and that's okay. the fun part, is okay. that it gets to be a fun little personal pizza. Now, my hands are messy, so <laughs> I'm gonna have you do the toppings. Okay. Okay, so now we have this rustic, beautiful pizza yes. ready to go in the oven. Okay. So I have the oven preheated to 425. Okay. Okay. So use that right arrow button and scroll over to 15 minutes and press start. That's it? And there you go, that's it. Okay, well, while that is cooking, uh -huh. we're gonna get started on a really cool project. I think you're gonna be excited about it. Oh, okay, it. I'm excited. I'm gonna wash my hands first, <laughs> and then we can go. That's a great idea. Right. Okay. <laughs> Matt, you're a chef, so I'm assuming you're on your feet a lot yes. every day. <laughs> Very much so, yeah. Okay, so would you like to wear something really cozy? Yes. So, just feel how these slippers. Oh, these are so much better than kitchen shoes. <laughs> Isn't that the softest fabric? Yeah, that is great. And what is that? It's, it's called Sherpa Fleece. Oh, cool. And that's what we're going to line our slippers with. And you know oh, what nice. I love about this project is that I feel like I made shoes. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> so here's what we need for our project. Okay. Fabric for the outside of the slippers, interfacing, fleece fabric or faux fur for the lining, and embroidery thread. And you need a sewing machine and an iron. And you can download the pattern, look in the video description, and you can print the pattern pieces and follow all the instructions. Should we make some slippers? Let's do it. Okay. Something with this project is that you want to be precise and you want to take your time with the different steps. Let me show you my first pair here. I was a little fast and not very precise, and it turned out a little wonky. I, I don't know, it's, I feel like this is probably what mine will look like, but we'll do, <laughs> but we'll do it together. But as you can see with my next pair, yep. you know, I made a little progress. They look I great. even improved my hand stitching a little, so take your time. Okay, cool. Another thing is that there's a lot of preparatory steps here, but once we get all the pieces cut out, then the slipper comes together okay. quickly. So you're gonna help me with a few of these prepping steps. Ready to help. Okay, good. I have our canvas fabric here for the outside of our slipper. Mm -hmm. We're going to be using interfacing, which is just something that you attach to your fabric to make it a little bit thicker, a little bit more sturdy. Okay. There's one side that often has glue that can be, that's an adhesive that you press with an iron and it now becomes part of your fabric. Oh, so cool. you're going to do that over here. So I'm going to iron it first. Yep. Okay, I'm just going to cut right around here. Okay, oh wow, you were fast with that, good job. Okay, it's a now great what iron. you're gonna do, <laughs> it is a great iron. <laughs> you're gonna cut this out. So okay. just cut right on the outside. Okay. 
We have all of our pieces prepped. We're ready to start assembling. So we're gonna grab this part and it's already been folded in half so I know where the center point is. Okay. I'm gonna start with the top of my slipper and with the right sides together, I am going to pin that to my slipper. And as I'm going around a curve here, you know, you don't what you don't want is to get little folds in your fabric. So just, again, go slowly. We've got that in place. Now we're gonna take this one, which is the same shape and size as that, and we're gonna pin it to the bottom so that it's all three layers. It's kind of sandwiched together. Okay. And I know that we, you're probably thinking, why didn't you just pin them at the same time? Been there, done that, didn't work very good. So okay. <laughs> it's easier to pin the top one first and then re-pin right there. Okay, so I'm gonna keep pinning that and we're gonna pin all the way down to the end here. See how that comes together? Mm -hmm. And same thing on the other side. We're gonna pin that all together. And then we're gonna go to our machine and we're gonna sew around. Excellent. Okay. Come to our machine here, and we are just sewing right around. And when we get to the curved part, we're gonna be really careful that nothing is tucked underneath or there's no pleating, anything like that. Okay. So, so I'm just going slow right here. You can see how that's kind of folded. Mm -hmm. Just pulling that over so that we don't get any pleats there. I would say this is probably a little more of an intermediate type of project, but you know, I always want people to feel empowered to try new things, yeah. and so... I say the I say same thing in it. cooking. Yeah, Don't be afraid right? of it, just just try it. Now, before we do our big reveal, mm -hmm. well, I'm just gonna check real quick. Okay, good, we sewed everything nicely. We're gonna take these two ends. This is a really cool, tricky part right here. Okay. We're gonna sew one seam across this. Okay, so back to our machine. So this, and this is the heel, this is the back of our shoe right here. It's kind of hard to visualize until some of the pieces come together. Let's see how it looks. Turn it around, and look at, look that. at that! I mean, it's already wow. kind of a shoe, right? Very impressive. I know. That's great. <laughs> we just needed basically sew one more piece, right? Yeah. Okay, so you would sew the sole to your shoe. Okay. And then you also make a little insert that goes into the shoe that just kind of makes it more cozy and helps it have a little more structure to it. And then I want to show you the last step, which is the hand stitching, because I think that's a really cool feature. Okay, cool. Have you ever hand sewn before? So I've only tied roasts and things like that, so I don't okay. think, it's not as precise as I think you're gonna be showing. <laughs> you're on your way to hand stitching. Okay, I've got some embroidery floss and a needle, a knot tied in the end. And then what we're going to do, you're gonna stitch around the top part, and you're also gonna stitch the bottom. So I'm gonna start and show you some okay. things. So you have all these layers here, which can make it kind of thick. So then I'm just gonna come back in between all the layers there. You've so got a from, lot of layers because- so from the outside. Exactly. Okay. Pull that through. And the nice thing about this, if you mess up, all you do is cut the end and pull the thread out. It's no big deal. Okay, so there we go. We got three stitches right there. What do you think? Do you feel like you wanna tackle this? Let's do it. You wanna try it? Okay, I'm gonna yeah. pull this last one through. There you go. You're gonna need to find, you know, your little groove. All right, so, thimble? <laughs> Thimble's right there, okay. there you go. I put and it on my middle on, finger. On your That's middle just finger, okay. What feels comfortable to me. Okay, I've never all done this projects, before, so I know, all these projects are finding how it feels comfortable okay. for you. Then with your left hand, pick up the, fat, yep, and kind of squeeze, there you go, yeah. So squeeze it yes, here. Yes, look at that. And then that's why I use the thimble. And you can pull it through. Ta-da, and then pull it tight. Look at okay. that, you did it. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna try another one. Okay. Perfect. That's awesome. Okay, I'll finish sewing this up for you. Excellent. We're gonna go have some pizza. Yeah, let's yeah. go. Okay. <laughs> and here it is, ready to go, Dana. Wow, that turned out great. Right? It, it's like you can make a restaurant quality pizza at home. I totally agree. Yep. And you know what else looks very professional? Let me see. Check out my slippers. Didn't this turn out great? Fantastic. I know. Thank you for your help with them. Absolutely. I love them. Super cozy, super comfy, perfect to go with pizza. Yep. Should we try it? Let's eat. Okay. Mmm. Really good. The goat cheese, yum. And that little bit of honey with the prosciutto, mm -hmm. salty and sweet. Tasty. Delicious. Panasonic.